Good day to all of you engineers, and again, welcome back to WALTS, the Watch and Learn training system brought to you by Top ECE Review Center. Parang commercial lang na. I'm uh, Engineer Melvin Arceo, and today we're going to talk about wave propagation. Now, here is the question. In wave propagation, if the critical frequency is 12 MHz, what is the angle of incidence of an ionospheric propagated wave? at an OWF of 12.75 MHz. Okay, so pinapahanap sa atin dito ay yung angle of incidence of the ionospheric propagated wave. Dalawa ang given. One is the critical frequency and the other one is the optimum working frequency. And alam naman natin na ang optimum working frequency ay may kinalaman sa MUF or the maximum usable frequency. Para hindi tayo masyado magtagal, nag-ready ako rito ng uh, illustration. Now, let us say we have an ionospheric uh, propagation. Of course, this is the ionosphere. Okay, so pagdating niya sa ionosphere, nag-bend siya at bumalik sa Earth. Okay, and thus uh, having what we call the MUF or the maximum usable frequency. Now, the maximum usable frequency uses what we call the critical frequency. Ito yung pinakamataas sa frequency when propagated straight upward ay babalik pa sa Earth. Okay? And it will be uh, propagated using MUF. It will be propagated at, a, at an angle. Ang tawag natin dito is the incidence angle. And that is, of course, yung uh, angle formed by the signal and the normal line coming from or the normal line with respect to the ionos, ionos, ionosphere boundary. <laughs> Nabubulol pa ako. Alright. Okay. And alam naman natin ang relationship ng OWF and MUF. The OWF is equal to 0.85 of MUF. Bakit natin kinukuha yung 0.85? That is actually 85% of the critical frequency. Kasi alam naman natin, yung critical frequency ay mataas. At pag mataas ang frequency, there is a possibility that this will uh, pass through the ionosphere. Okay? At hindi na siya babalik sa Earth. Okay? And alam din naman natin na, na ang ionosphere ay nagbabago ng uh, density at uh, each time of the day. No? So, alam natin, kapag uh, mataas ang araw, mataas ang density niya. Pero pagka lumubog na ang araw, lumilit ang density. So, therefore, lumalaki ang possibility of escaping of the signal if we use the critical frequency. So, we only get 85% of it. That is why it's called the optimum working frequency. Alright? Okay. Pero, ang tanong, ano daw yung angle of incidence? Ito yung pinapatanong sa atin. Okay? So, madali lang naman, no? Kasi given naman yung OWF, we can easily get the MUF. So, pagkuha natin ng MUF, that will be equal to, that is, uh, OWF is given as 12.75, okay? And that is in megahertz. And divide natin yan by uh, 0.85, tama? And this will give us a value of 15 megahertz. Okay? Okay. So, kuha na natin yung MUF. Pag nakuha na natin yung MUF, then we can easily get the theta. Theta is simply the arc uh, cosine of that will be what? That is FC over MUF. Our FC is 12 megahertz. Okay? 12 megahertz divided by our MUF is 15 megahertz. So, pagka kinumpute natin yung ating theta, ang lalabas dyan ay, uh, ano lalabas dyan? That will be letter C, 36.87 degrees. Okay? That will be our theta. So, I hope maliwanag sa inyo ito. And uh, thank you for viewing. And I hope this will help you pass the board exams. Thank you very much.